Okay, sorry for the bouncing around. However, um, this is kind of so small I had to do it by hand. So, uh, anyways, um, what, I what I've done is I've been doing a series of printing these 3D models, cube models for calibration. And so I printed them on the Wadhow, I printed them on the Da Vinci. And if I said, what the heck, let's scale one for the uh, Fabricator Mini. So, long story short, what I did is I just, uh, you took this, you can take this into Cura. Or I actually I imported it in a Tinkercad and I told it make it 50%. So this is exactly one half of the uh, Thingiverse model. And so I printed this out on the Fabricator Mini. And so let's uh, pry it off the bed, take it over to the bench, and take a look at uh, how it stacks up versus the other ones. But I thought this was just so darn cute I had to do the Fab Mini. So let's go over to the bench. So we're back. We've uh, we've uh, printed this uh, uh, scaled down 3D cube for a calibration cube on the on the I was going to say the one how um, on the Fab Mini. And one of the things it's a little bit difficult to really get get some good measurements because the marks really didn't come off. So it's really hard to to tell. So I should be at roughly 50. 50 by 50, and if I had to guess, I'm probably pretty close to that. Uh, the Z-axis is easier to tell, so that, that's definitely the case. And uh, let's take a quick look uh, with regards to... So that should be 5, and I'm actually running 3.8. Um, let's check this one. So I'm running 4, 4.1. So I'm getting a little bit truer dimension in the uh, um, Z. Now, these are a little bit distorted, and it's hard to tell. So I, I'm going 3.7 versus 4 wide. So um, uh, I think I'm probably a little bit out of adjustment here on, on the Fab Mini. And this is something I think I will go back and take a look at. Um, because I'm just, let's, uh, for grins and giggles, this is, that's showing 62, and this is basic. this is showing 61. So I am a little bit off on the, uh, what's it going to be, the y-axis. I, I am a millimeter off on the y-axis. So I'm going to go back and take a look at that uh, separately off camera. I may do a video on it, however... Uh, this was a pretty good experiment. I didn't realize I was that far off. So, because again, these, these should be the same. Um, I don't know if I can get that big. Let's take one of the older ones from one of the others. So, 125.4. And, no, these, these are off a little bit too. So, maybe it isn't perfectly square. I'm going to have to look at that a little bit more. Um... And see what's what's up with that, because these circles are a little bit off. They're a little bit squatted. I don't know if you can see this. Maybe I get it up here. A little bit squatted, uh, which would tell me in this in on in the y-axis I'm a little bit off. I'm going to dig into this, take a little bit more look. Um, however, it was a fun project printing all these uh, 3D cubes. I don't know what I'm going to. I mean, I've got a I got a collection of them now, so uh, I don't know if they make good bookends. Uh, I don't know. Um, Ninja throwing stars, what have you. So, ah, look at that. I can I can set them like that. So, um, I don't know. Interesting. I really enjoy do it, doing this project with these. I enjoy doing it scaled down. So, again, you can just bring this into Cura or whatever you have and just say scale it by 50%. And so I'm not going to put this on Thingiverse or remix it. There's no reason to. It's just a simple scale. So, anyways, hey, if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. A lot more coming.
Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers. Like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.